It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff, and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry. This injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next Generation Special Forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. Get dinner, Rod? The longest sled race in the world? When did you become a dog musher? Right now, my 50 Huskies are my only family. I've got to take care of them. Don't worry about your dogs. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake. But this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you, even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake, there's enough dirt in your file from your days as an agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Oh, I see. Blackmail. No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. But anyway, I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural-born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully type. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us? and be a soldier again. You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life.
be through here. I know it. I'm going to swat down a couple of bothers and flies. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You'd better hide somewhere.
It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. 
It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Surveillance camera? Snake, this is McDonnell Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, 
So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes, the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. The radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder.
the DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Snake, the DARPA chief's... Here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between ArmsTech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... 
They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? The Pentagon? What is it? What? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? I know. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No. 
You're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! For. Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! Sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis.
Press the action button to drop down. Mr. Barkins, 